Hi guys! Hiya! Welcome to Huahen vlog. We are actually not staying right in the center of Huahen. We are staying in Kao Takia beach and that's what we're gonna show you in this vlog. See what's coming up. Let's go! <laughs> They got a first aid kit in the bar. Yeah. They need the plaster, it should be fine. But this is this is a really cool spot. I really like it. Do you like it? Yeah, it's smart. Uh, yeah. It's if you're new here, we are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us, us on, on our, our journey. journey. bright and really hot right now in Hua Hen. God, it's super bright today. I can't literally keep my eyes open without sunglasses. Right, so in this vlog, we're gonna show you Kao Takia Beach area. Uh, bear it in mind, guys, we are on our holiday away from Bangkok. We took the train here, as you've seen in a previous, in a previous vlog. Uh, we came here for typical beach bum holidays <laughs> just to relax we're not actually doing yeah. a lot we're just staying around here we're not taking a moped we're not going on a moped we're staying by the beach by the pool and just going to bars and restaurants in this area yeah so basically we want to show you today just what you can expect when you around Kao Takia beach area uh, it looks really nice I have to say uh, we already been here for one full day so far uh, which we basically spent just relaxing by the pool. So today we're just gonna walk through the beach to the chopstick hill or the monkey hill it's called. I'm not sure, we will find out. And just we're gonna show you what's around here. It looks pretty nice, beach is nice and quiet, but then it is beginning of the rainy season, guys. So yeah, there's a lot of Thai people on holiday, but not so many foreigners yeah. here. Because the weather's not amazing, it's hot. Yeah, it is hot. It's a bit on and off with the weather. Mm. Let's say it's a bit overcast and muggy. Yeah. yeah. I think I want to put my feet in the sea. Let's go. Go on then. Let's go. When you walk on the sand, it feels really, really soft because there is a lot of those like uh, sandy balls made by crabs where they clean the sand, I think. It feels so soft when you're walking on it. I love it. It's hundreds, hundreds, if not thousands of little tiny crabs just running around on the floor. Looks like the sand is moving when you're yeah. walking. <laughs> You'll never be able to see that on it. Really? For the first time, the water is actually quite clear here. It's not rough today. I can see the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, I think the lady there is maybe fishing for our dinner later. Looks like she's getting the little clams, seashell, sea fish. And yeah, they're just below the surface. She's just scraping that metal bit. And you can see her picking them all up. So, might be dinner later. <laughs> There is a mixture of the big and small resorts on this beach. You have uh, a lot of like a sky rise uh, buildings, which some of them they hotels, some of them the actually condos where people live. And there you have in between loads of like a small resorts as well. I do prefer a small resorts. That's definitely uh, our style. 
of holiday so yeah we choose something in between we staying in a little bit more luxurious uh, resort this time we treating ourselves but that's in another lo uh, in another vlog uh, which we're gonna show you soon or we already showed you I don't know but we will put the link below when the vlog is ready so you can see where we stayed and how beautiful that resort is yeah you see them they just oh, disappear no. yeah. Ooh, they're hey, chasing each other free bring it here you can see them they're fighting over a clam they're eating it everything today looks shut on this beach so fingers crossed the place where we're going is going to be open huh. yeah it's monday today so the weekend is oh, over no. oh yeah so it might be quiet mondays are generally quiet in thailand everywhere lots of things shut down on mondays yeah. that's the thai's weekend really people who work but now i can see the mountain already there is a shrine here but there's not much info about it and there's also a temple on top of the mountain as well but mm. i think we're gonna stay down the bottom aren't we yeah there is a lot of monkeys on a <laughs> around the top of this mountain not big fan of monkeys i don't want to get bitten because uh, they are macaques you know the nasty ones so i think we're just gonna look at the mountain from the top <laughs> from the bottom sorry yeah we've had uh people have told us that these monkeys do bite they do these bite here. yeah apparently so yeah. they're quite aggressive these mm. ones i don't really want to get bitten nah no <laughs> Yeah, so we're actually quite lucky this time of year because this beach is quite tidal so you actually do have a beach if you come at certain points of the year there's no beach here the actual sea and the tide comes right up to the walls so we're lucky we can actually walk down through the sea we did get stuck the other day <laughs> but yeah we're off to the monkey hill so let's go and see what it's all about yeah so this beach takia beach is about five to six kilometers long and it basically connects up to the main huahin beach so we're going to take a walk down oh this is creepy with all these crabs everywhere <laughs> whoa hey, they're all over my feet yeah i know <laughs> I just slashed my foot, guys, on the stones. Ow! Oh, Jesus, I need, I need to get 7 Eleven or that stuff. <sighs> Don't put it in the sand. No. Oh, no, I think that's the vlog over, guys. You slashed your foot open. Slashed my freaking foot open on a stone. Well, that's unlucky. I cannot walk much anymore. <laughs> oh, I keep like walking on my heel it's not hurting i just don't want to get any sand in it i don't want to get like infection or anything like that it's taking us very long time to get here oh. but hopefully they got a first aid kit in the bar yeah. only the plaster it should be fine if not danny might do the run to 7-eleven i think yeah there'll be a pharmacy or 7-eleven yeah. down here somewhere it's bleeding a bit less now so that's good but i slushed it in two places guys Looks like the rain's coming. We're not going to walk very far because of Diggy's little accent. So we're going to chill here with a beer. <laughs> there is some monkeys around here. Which you have to be very careful with your stuff. Oh yeah, this Buddha statue is quite cool. But yeah, we had a plan to walk a little bit further than this, but I don't think we're going to now because I don't think I should walk on that foot. The cut is quite deep, so I don't want to aggravate it. But yeah, there is a nice view, so we're just gonna chill and take the view, have a beer and chill, maybe have something to eat as well. Looks like a whole load of monkeys just got scared out of the hotel behind us and they're heading this way. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully not. Just having a quick wander around and where we're just sitting there having for a beer i think the viewpoint is just up here and diggy doesn't want to go up because of the monkeys but i'm going to take you guys up there quickly because i think it only take me two minutes to run up there let me show you quickly let's have a look so let me turn you around we're gonna go up here let's go hopefully there's not too many monkeys 
a little bit further than I thought. <laughs> Ooh, my legs are aching already. Halfway. Let's go. There's lots of monkeys. There's lots. You can see them. Uh oh. They're everywhere. Yeah, Diggy would hate this. Absolutely hate it. <laughs> They're everywhere. So many monkeys. They're everywhere. Hello. Yo. Yo. Booty booty. Yo. There's a little one here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, look at him. I think he's scared of the monkeys. He's with the company. Hello. Right, can't stay too long. Let's go and have a look at this viewpoint, guys. Yo. Yeah, he's just gonna follow me now. <laughs> <laughs> right, can't leave Diggy for long. Let's turn you around. Oh, you can have a quick look, guys. You should be able to see the whole of Huai Hin from here. Let's flip you around. Yeah, check it out. The weather's not the greatest. But a cool view from up here. If you're scared of monkeys, it might not be your place. <laughs> <Just waiting. laughs> What's up? Choo, 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 choo. Let's head back down, guys. See the monkeys. See nice little putty putty. Hello. So scared, this little one. Who's here? Who's here? Poor thing. Right, let's get down before Diggy thinks I've been attacked by monkeys. But yeah, pop up, have a look. But if you're scared of monkeys, uh, I wouldn't come up here. Let's go. My beer's getting warm. ourselves a little snack we got fried squid which was 200 baht and we really like it here because the view is really nice from here as well we can sit here chill eat some food let diggy's foot heal for a little bit <laughs> yeah it's nice here i like it and we got ourselves some chicken wings which were 150 so yeah this is a monkey bar and restaurant right down the end of the beach. Come and check it out. I like it. Mmm, <laughs> good. Brilliant beer snack. Good beer snack. So guys, that was Monkey Bar and Restaurant. So if you want a nice view, looking out across Hua Hin and the beach, come here. And it's only open till 9 p.m. So it's not a late night place. But if you do want a later dinner, carry on around the corner and there is another restaurant for food and drinks which is open later. So, top tip for you. Yeah, just behind the mountain. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just moved. Uh -huh. Wasn't a monkey. Right, that's it. Where's the bell? Huh? Where's the bell? Right, guys, we are on a song town. We taking you to another little place uh, I think it's between Kautakia beach and Huahin beach as well Danny wanted to go to a little hippie bar so we're gonna show you what it's all about when we get there yeah but a quick tip guys we've just come here we were gonna get a taxi like a boat yeah but they have these song towers that run up and down the beach yeah we have to wait for six minutes here but they're only costing us 15 baht and just so you can see how much it is a mm. boat is 60 to 70 baht so Big difference. If you yeah. can, just wave one of these town. down on the main road. Yeah. They'll stop, but they only stop on the main road. They won't take you to your exact place. Yeah. But do it. It's good. Yeah, they just go basically go up and down on the main road, but yeah. it's it's easy to get it anyway. Right, we're 
on the way to the hippie bar. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We're going really, really slowly. <laughs> it's probably because he wants to pick up more people, I think. But yeah, we're driving really, really slowly on this one. Just look. <laughs> yeah, but at least we don't have to walk. <laughs> And with my cut foot, probably the walking is not the best idea. It's quite cool actually, he's going that slow. We can check out the restaurants, we can check out what's around here. There's some seafood restaurants I've seen already. Lots of fruit, lots of veg, motorbike mechanics. But this end of Hua Hin is a lot more local. It's not so touristy, there's not loads of tourist bars. So it's actually quite nice, I like it. Another seafood restaurant coming up. Look. Wow. He's stealing the eggs. The monkey's stealing the eggs from the shop. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> right, we just got to the beach. But I can see, guys, I can see the red patchouli trees. I love patchouli trees. I wish you could smell that. But i never seen the red ones before. They look beautiful. Oh, this smells amazing. Mmm. <laughs> smell it. <laughs> Thanks. No worries, mate. Right, we got, we got dropped a little bit too far, so just walking down a random street. But the bar should be this way. Ah. It looks like we might be in Main Huahin Beach, I think. Yeah, a lot more yeah. touristy stuff here, I think. You can see it already. Yeah. We found it. What a cool place. going for maybe uh, margarita yeah margarita. yeah margarita yeah. check two one uh, uh, mango daiquiri mango mango mamwang yeah check her yeah. to answer the question if we like hua Hin, well we do like hua Hin if you're coming here just quickly for like you know few days away from the busy Bangkok just to see the sea just to be by the beach yeah it's fine but if I would travel especially to Thailand for two weeks holiday to Hua Hin I think I would be a little bit disappointed to be honest it still has a lot of seafood around it still has few bars it still has a nice night markets weekend night markets so it depends really what you're looking for but for me I would rather go for a proper long holiday somewhere down south. But this is this is a really cool spot. I really like it. Do you like it? Yeah, it's smart. Uh, yeah, it's so cool. You're only just setting up, but they've got a little seating area on the mm. beach we'll go and sit on in a minute. Yeah. Get a decent seat. Yeah, and just sit here and chill until the sun goes down, I exactly. think. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Have a few cocktails, chew on the beach, listen to the waves. Cocktails here are anything from 200 up to 350, I think. Yeah. I was looking at the menu. So. But I heard they're good, so. Yeah, they're meant to be good. Probably worth the money. <laughs> right, should we go grab a seat? Yeah. Right, so we're just gonna say goodbye, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying, staying with us to the end. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. It's a little bit different, a little bit more of the chill day uh, for us because it is our holiday. Um, and yeah, well, subscribe to the channel. Give a thumbs up if you like the thumbs video. Up, subscribe and see you in the next one. We leave you a shot with our nice drinks on the beach. Yeah. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>